Okay, sometimes dealing with uh, photos or documents, it's impossible or impractical to use your uh, scanner. Well, a camera on a tripod, or in this case, uh, a copy stand and a camera works just fine, except you sometimes end up with what's called a barrel effect. And it's hard to get the perspective just right. If you'll notice, there's quite a bow right here, and quite a problem right in that corner. Well, I recommend you visit Meet the Gimp in episode 38. He goes into depth on the barrel effect, and he also wrote a little plug-in for uh, Gimp, which makes adjusting things uh, very quick and easy. So, I recommend you give him a try. Okay, let's uh, get back to this picture. Yeah, if we drag some guides over here, the curve in the picture really starts coming out. Now the way you fix things in GIMP would be filters, distort, lens distortion, Now this is a little taxing on my computer while I do a screencast. Okay. And what we want to pay attention to is the main slider bar, or we can adjust it numerically here. I suppose if you find a setting that works on uh, your camera, you can probably just type in that number every time. But you just take it. Until everything looks pretty straight. This preview really slows down my computer. Okay, that's a little too much. Take that down to six. Yeah. Let's take that to a straight seven. And that doesn't look too bad. So let's click OK. OK, still got a little curve there. Possibly a little rotation problem. But uh, you can keep playing with the filters. But I want to show you uh, this new plugin. Really speeds things up. Okay. Once you've added the <coughs> the add-on from. Meet the GIMP, you come over here to uh, Distort, and you end up with something that says Barrel Distortion Removal, CA65, and you click that. OK. 
Okay, and what it actually does is creates two layers. The barrel corrected is the fixed layer, and this is the normal one. So let's go ahead and uh, see the original. This, this is the fixed one. And possibly did a little too much correcting, but not too bad. A lot of it I can correct with the perspective tool. Now here I can click this button or go into Tools, Transform, and Perspective. And let's move this off the screen. And what we'll want to do is zoom in. And I've clip clicked on the image, so now I can actually go and drag the corners. And that looks pretty good. If we want to, we can double check it. Sometimes when you adjust one corner, another one's going to go out. That looks good. Yeah, you can see right here, just a hair off. Probably won't notice that on the final print. And that looks pretty good. Maybe drag that down a hair. Come over here. Click Transform. And let's zoom out. And that looks pretty good. And it was that quick and easy. Actually, I could pull in that little corner over there a little more. Okay, looks much better. Now this is after. And this is before. You can see a big difference in the picture. Well, I hope you give this a try. It's not very hard. Just a little slow on some of the older computers like mine. So, I hope you enjoy.